In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH4OH plus H3PO4. This is ammonium hydroxide, and this is phosphoric acid. So the first thing we'll do is we'll balance the molecular equation. When I look at the molecular equation here, I can see that I have three of these ammonium ions here and only one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the ammonium hydroxide. Now I have three times the one hydrogen, three hydrogens plus three hydrogens, that's six. I'll put a three in front of the water. That balances the hydrogens, and that also balances the oxygens. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So ammonium compounds are very soluble, so we're going to write AQ after that. Phosphoric acid, it will dissolve, but it's not going to split apart. So we're going to write AQ because it dissolves, but we want to remember this is a weak acid and it's a weak electrolyte. We have another ammonium compound, very soluble. That'll be AQ, and then water is a liquid. So we have the states for the net ionic equation. Now we can split the electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So the ammonium ion here, that's one plus the hydroxide ion, one minus. So I have three ammonium ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's write those at the end. And then three of these hydroxide ions here. For the phosphoric acid, we said that that's a weak acid. So even though it dissolves and it's aqueous, it's a weak electrolyte. It won't split apart. That's a good one to remember. So we're just going to write H3PO4. We're going to keep this together. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. We said the ammonium ion is positive, and then the whole phosphate ion, that has a 3 minus charge. So we have three ammonium ions, again, just like we had in the reactants, plus we have the phosphate ion here, and then we don't split water apart, so we have three water molecules, 3H2O. These are the products. So we have our complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So if I look at the reactants here and the products, I see I have three ammonium ions in the reactants and in the products. Let me get rid of that. Everything else, though, is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for NH4OH plus H3PO4. Let me clean it up. I'll write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. Note that charge is balanced. We have 3 times 1 minus. So over here we have 3 minus. Product side we have 3 minus as well. If we count up the atoms, they'll be balanced as well. The key here with this one is realizing that this phosphoric acid, even though it's aqueous, it's a weak electrolyte. It's a weak acid. So it will not break apart in our net ionic equation. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.